We were down east in the best place this country has to offer, Wally N. We were on a food mountain and river adventure, trying to find solitude in the mountains and friends for dinner. Let's pick up where we left off. Welcome back to Vaughn's World. Once again, leaving the herd of people had a big payoff. We're just up the river a little bit. There's no huge waterfall, but like, there's this kind of babbling brook. But right there, looks like there's a deep pool that we can go swimming in. Good find, Ollie. Woo! I'm going swimming. Oh my God, it's cold. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> 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 I had only just gotten into the water when it started to rain, hard. The thing is, is I'm pretty sure it would be fine for us to stay here even though it's raining, but this mountain accumulates a shitload of rain. <laughs> and it's all gonna come down through this here river. We just ran into some people that were coming down from way up there, some other adventurous folk. And they said that it's pretty messy up there because of the rain and there is like a huge, I don't know if you can see that, a huge dark cloud coming in, so, um, you know, risk, reward, seems kind of stupid to go any further. So down we go. Some uh, pretty loud thunder. <laughs> so I don't know what this says about YouTubers, but check it out. We went away from the crowd <laughs> to try and get it try and get alone and so did he this is Rohit yes what's up guys <laughs> he's got a, uh, a YouTube channel as well I'll put a link in the description and we were just sharing some stories about traveling uh, Asia so yeah check out his channel I know I will be when I get home yeah. he's a super cool dude it took a long time to get off the slippery mountain in the rain but it was in this dark tunnel that the real problem with the rain revealed itself. So we left our keys in the scooter and both of our cell phones in the, in like the cup holder thing of the scooter. So we're just praying that they're still in there right now. We're praying for the goodness of Taiwan. What an idiot mistake that was. When doing the tunnel, try to do it without a flashlight or your cell phone. People want to do that. It yeah. gets pretty crazy dark in yeah. there. <laughs> Darker than you've probably ever seen. <laughs> and then there's bats. Yeah. If you're afraid of bats, then I'm um, sorry. But there yeah. are bats. You can hear them. And don't eat them. God damn it. Don't <laughs> eat the bats. All right. We've had enough of that. <laughs> Gotta love Taiwan. Look at this. Thank you. God, oh my God. Our helmets also are just filling up with water. We clearly didn't expect rain. <laughs> Every time. Every time. Every time I rent a scooter, it rains. I'm not kidding. We drove in the rain for quite some time until we decided that we had had enough of freezing and slipping around. So we stopped under a shelter we saw on the side of the road and hung out with a couple of dogs until the rain finally lightened up. Good evening. It, uh, it's Thursday, which for you guys is like whatever, it doesn't mean anything. But for me, it's kind of crazy. because That means we've only been here for a day like a day and a half, but it feels like I've been here for a lot longer than that. We've done so much. Anyway, we've basically eaten and had a nap and now it's dark and there's no real plan of any kind, which is great. A night of no plans turned into a night of drinking and eating with some people who were also staying at the hostel until it was finally time to tuck in for the night or morning or whatever. Good morning. You wouldn't believe how hot it is today. So the plan so far? 
skip brunch, which is like two doors that way. And then uh, go to a place called the A Zone. We'll tell you more about it when we get there, because right now, we have no idea. <sighs> I don't usually rave about restaurants on this channel, but uh, that was an excellent restaurant. Good choices, great sauces, excellent service. But, uh, but then they played Justin Bieber and they went right back down to one star. <laughs> so never go there. Just looking for cicada shells. <laughs> Apparently you can wear them as a brooch. Yes. I think there's one way at the top if you want to climb. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, I couldn't very well call it the Alex Zone, so I just named it the A Zone. I'm just kidding. But we are at the A Zone. It's called the A Zone, right? Yes, A Zone. Yeah. yeah. Let me find something to read. That's not in Chinese, and I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> so like a hundred years ago, this used to be a wine factory, distillery, factory, I don't know, Japanese style. What it says is that it used to occupy 33,000 square miles. So that's a significant chunk of land. I'm sure most of it was field, but these are like the dormitories and that is the factory. And then in the eighties, they just turned it into kind of an art park, kind of pay an homage to the Aborigine. Aboriginal people. Uh, but yeah, everything's kind of closed, so... Which was cool, because it was empty. But it also means there's nothing really to do here. So we've kind of enjoyed the scene, looked at some stuff, but... Uh, on to the next thing. We jumped on the scooter and went on the real mission for the day. We were trying to find a place way in the mountains that nobody goes. A place where we could just swim and be alone and enjoy the sounds of nature. We were just driving up the mountain and there's an area just not that far down there where everybody once again is coagulating. And as soon as you pass them, nobody. And there's a how many cemetery here, which I've never really seen up close before. All right, another something that's really cool that you just got to see is what I think is a hydroelectric power plant. Obviously a mountain gathers a lot of rainwater, which is the whole reason why there's rivers. <laughs> if you don't know that, you need to go back to grade two. But what you might not know is that it provides an excellent way to create electricity. And that's what they're doing here. Green energy, man. Gotta love it. We kept passing signs that showed rocks falling off the mountain. And with their increased frequency, we began to wonder if this is why nobody else was up here. All right, I'm gonna make this quick because this is a, uh, a really sketchy part of these mountains where rocks often fall. And as you can see, our road has just been obliterated. And uh, it doesn't inspire confidence. I mean, if you can see way up there, all those hanging rocks, I mean, one earthquake and a lot of shit's gonna come off this mountain, so... I guess we'll turn around. The only other route up the mountain was also blocked, and so begrudgingly, we resolved to go where the people were. So, good news, we found a path. Bad news is it's where everyone else found a path. But hey, it's better than not going in the water. You know what I mean? riverbank where we sat was shallow and its depth undermined its might. The cold rushing water conspired to flush us away as if to keep the calming presence of the mountains all to itself. We relaxed in its cool swell before heeding its hint to move on. Well, we've just been chilling here for a little while, maybe an hour or so. You can see the sun is going away. If we came here earlier, we would probably have walked further up that way. Uh, I guarantee there's just nobody up there because everyone's here. If you do come to this spot, again, 
check the description to find out where it is. Um, just walk up that way. All right, we are finally back at the hostel, as you can obviously tell. And I uh, just want to give you a pro tip. If you plan to rent scooters, pick yourself up one of these. This is like an arm armband for your phone. And you can just wear it on your wrist so that you can look at Google Maps while you drive. Um, and it's far safer to do that than it is to constantly be stopping, especially if you don't know the area, and looking at your phone and then starting again. And the second thing, most scooter rental places will not have the kind of helmets with the visor. So get yourself some really clear glasses or like really low tinted glasses. I didn't bring mine, so my eyes are literally filled with dead bugs right now. It's gross. We found Jason in the kitchen as usual. He had prepped a massive meal, including many, many liters of sangria. That was just an insane process. <laughs> like, all the trucks kept coming close and then turning off, and then some of them are recycling. Anyway, someone took the garbage, so we're good now. Let's go eat. <laughs> On the roof, there was a gathering of all ages, each one of them as hungry and as eager as I was to see what Jason had created. He gave me the great honor of handling the barbecue for a short time while he took care of some other things. My whole life I've been good at barbecuing, and for a short while I did it professionally, but for some reason I was nervous as if I was entrusted with the keys to a kingdom. All went well, and we feasted together on a colorful array of meats, fruits, and vegetables. The following morning, despite our anatomical rebellion, we woke up, packed our bags, and went to the beach as our final act of discovery on this mini trip. We're at this beautiful beach. I forget the name of it, but I'll put it down below so that you can check it out. And remember, there's a link in the description. And that's all there really is to tell you about this story, folks. This is the end. Keep watching because we will sort out the photo competition after. But uh, yeah, that's it. Subscribe and whatever. All right, we're home. We're in Taipei. It's raining. And it's dinner time. But that's besides the point. I hope you enjoyed the last two episodes. It's not the end of the season, though. There's a bunch more episodes coming. And uh, frankly, they're going to be a lot better. Stay tuned for those. For right now, we're going to show you two photos. We're not going to say whose photos they are. And then you will vote down below which, vote, which photo you like best. You'll decide the winner. So on your screen right now, you will see photo A. That's photo A, have a good look, check it out. Okay, and I will now show you photo B. So there's photo B, check it out, have a look. So take a second now, vote down below. What did you like? Did you like A, did you like B? You can also go on my Instagram, at Vons World. Okay, so Ollie had photo A. This is the one that I chose. That's beautiful. We were not looking for this. We just happened to like pass by on our scooter. Mm -hmm. We were going up the mountain, right? And then uh, there's a lot of really small cemeteries like hidden in, little, in the mountains here in Taiwan. If I were to be bur buried, I would love to be buried in a place that overlooks the mountain, mm -hmm. at the bottom of a mountain. So that's, that's super cool. Cool. Yep. Um, and then my photo is photo B, and I chose this black and white one. And I'm a huge sucker for reflections <laughs> and layers and shadows. And um, black and white photography, that's all you get is reflections, uh, shadows, layers, and shapes. And this one I thought was just kind of cool, because here you can see, I mean, obviously the immediate foreground is the window with the frame, and then inside the window on the bottom right, you can see Ollie looking into the window. <laughs> yeah. And then behind Ollie, there's a giant 
uh, cement staircase that was built by the Japanese. It's going up into the wine factory or distillery or whatever it was. And then inside the window, you can see um, some things, some strings hanging there. You can see the tiled floor. Kind of interesting. Yes, it's layered. Yeah. So we'll show you two more photos, just some notable mentions. Ollie, do you have one? Yep. There's one of a cave when we're walking through the cave. Nice. I like that one. It's good colors. And this one with the palm trees through the archway. Um, that's standing on the beach in Hualien. Mm -hmm. And it just looks like apocalypse now to me. So it's just really, really cool. Um, if you're a member, like watch for the video that's going to come out and we will show you a bunch more pictures and we'll tell you some more stories. There's a lot more really good pictures. Of course, you can see them all on Instagram anyway, but if you want to know the story behind them, then you'll just have to become a member. And now that is actually all I have for you <laughs> for today. Um, I'll just remind you to subscribe. And there is a blog coming, a website. She's designing it. Yay! And it's looking pretty great. <laughs> There's going to be lots of stuff to read, lots of good stories. All right, I'll give you one last look at the mountains, and then we're, we're out of here. Do not miss the next episodes of this season. We are going to Orchid Island, otherwise known as Lan Yu, as well as Green Island or Liu Dao. And our experience there is a contrasting mix of highs and lows. We'll be camping, hiking, swimming, eating, and doing all the things you've come to expect here at Vaughn's World. See you in the next one, folks. Don't forget to subscribe.